so mean. I've been asking myself the same question. They said I did some really bad things, but I'd never do anything wrong. Nev I'm not sure. It's got something to do with the braziers. That's all I know. I think you've got to just like them all. Beware. Stand tall. He gives you a look that is at once Behold hopeful friends. and hopeless. One last tip. Mm. While the mistake lives, we shall not be free. Am I... am I gonna die? Okay, do you want to get in position like uh, get get yourself someplace higher? Because I have a feeling what we need to do is just light these brazers. Yeah. Be wary. I the just child go must home. not walk free. Oh, we need to like. They will put out the fire, so we need to consume them in order to make sure that we can open. Made it. From right. Lucian, turncoat I see four of us am need, I, uh, two of us am need I force. Die? Yeah. Take heart. Uh, for, no. Let's see, there is another must... section to this. Oh, you only had to get rid of one. Huh. I'm gonna go up along here. What is with the spirit? That's the archaeologist. He's been following us since, uh, the black, uh, since the, black, the graveyard. Since the black caves. Alright. I'm doing some lighting. I just wanna go home. Alright, give me a moment to get into position. Why did it go for you? No clue. I have a quick save before we ever did anything. Yeah. Siva's standards were always uneven. Looking at me, then looking at you, that hasn't changed. He laughs. Three measured chuckles, each a little more disturbing than the last. You're Godwoken, yes? Oh, but it's always so hard to keep track of the names they give you. First sorcerer, then Godwoken, all the while dangling another one in front of you. Divine. You want it bad, don't you? You're chasing this thing, this label. Maybe you're trying to save the world. <laughs> Maybe you're just doing it because they tell you to. The Seekers told me the same thing. They told me I could rise. I could be the next Divine. I fell for it. Well, who wouldn't, eh? I saw the light, but not in the way they'd expected. I heard the voice. Lucian himself. Are who? He gave me the truth. <sighs> he told me to carry it. He made uh, me real. And he showed me oh. Ahu and the Seekers. Are oh. That's a name we're familiar with. That's a name we're very familiar with. And a name that is associated with Bracus Rex. Yes. <sighs> he showed me that they're traitors. They have him captive, you know? Oh, yes. He's alive, but he's imprisoned. He has instructed me to free him from his enemies. The Seekers doubted me. Lucian told me to express myself, so I did. I showed those Seekers exactly what I could do. Seekers might be faithful, but they sure as hell aren't smart. The last time they tried to stop me from expressing myself, I killed a dozen of them stone dead. Caron the Divine, said the Seekers. I was flattered. My ego loved the idea. And the power. I wanted it. I gods damned craved it. And the Seekers delivered it on a silver platter. Gareth couldn't wait to show me off to the Order, the idiot. He looks underneath him, to the rune etched into the floor, <gasps> and the candles placed at its points. But that was just my ego. That wasn't really me. This is me. 
Saving Lucian for the world is my true calling. That and killing Seekers. Same thing, really. Same thing, really. I can do that. I know where Lucian is. But it's not quite as simple as that. Ahu and the Seekers have Lucian imprisoned beneath the tomb. They tap into his source and use it for themselves. I know how to access his cell. I can show you the way once we pass the path of blood. Together we can do this. Together we can save Lucian. Together we are the truth. What do you say? His help could be useful. If he speaks the truth. We can always use an ally. A sane ally is better, of course, but his information could be extremely useful. All right. Caron here can lead the way to Lucian. I'm fully expecting to have to double cross him at some point. So do I. So do I. Lucian's tomb is not his final resting place, but I will see you there. Then we'll see where Lucian really lies. Then we'll tell the truth. Then we'll set him free. Until then, bye bye. Should I? Bye bye. <laughs> I know. I just say, he says that. Oh, he wanted to see if you could pick pockets. Should have oh, mentioned yeah. that earlier. <laughs> oh, there's a couple more bodies in here you can actually steal source from. There's a cage here. Oh, I want the door. Oh, it's locked. Oh, these are all locked. So, Midnight's gonna have to first pickpocket them. You can't. Uh, them. You, you, you should be able to steal source through through the bars. Wasn't highlighting them for me. Nope, they're not being highlighted, so I can't target them. Really? No, it, it wasn't letting me. You don't have to have it highlight you. You have to just literally just make sure you see the name. Yeah, but that's the thing. It was. It's tested, telling me invalid target. Quick, oh, there we go. Going into top down view did the trick. One more over here for you. Just one. Yeah, no, eat two. sourced up let's get out of here let's go back down to the proper sewers because you have a death fog plot to stop yeah we do what's this i found something oh secret door oh. getting a note notes no nothing just some grotesque jars and empty bottles yeah this again so nothing of sustenance nailed shut they won't budge Hey, I got a door over here that's barricaded and it's locked. Huh. I've now removed the barricade. Oh, look, and now it's unlocked. It has stairs leading up somewhere into the prison. Oh, yeah, let's let's leave the prison for later. And of course, where I landed also is that there was a source pool there as well. 
an un unidentified ring for you. Um, this is... It only has has one skill that's useful for you, which is Huntsman, but other than that, it's all like kind of meh. Yeah. I'll still send it to you to see. Oops, I just simply made an arrow. Yep, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Craft. Okay, uh, where is this? Well, Huntsman, Scoundrel, and Hydro Sophist. Yeah, like I said, it's only got the one thing that's actually useful yeah. for you. Moving on, moving on. Moving on. Down? Up? I don't know. A direction. Side. Sideways. Oh, those are traps. Okay. Oh, hang on. I see more traps along this wall here, too. Okay, we can go jump. Whoa. This door is locked. Hey, come to you. Oh, hey, I've noticed something. D this is firing in sequence. Yep. So if we haste, we might be able to make it through just fine. None of us have haste. I get haste whenever I do the jump. Yeah, or midnight could jump. I can't? Oh. Ow. Okay, uh... <laughs> there we go. I'm through. I don't see a switch here to turn it off, however. So you're gonna just have to teleport. Oh, Some I scrolls. See. God, there's so many spikes on the floor! Yeah, this bit I jumped to here earlier. Uh, so... running about where did they go come here <laughs> okay then uh more death fog over there. Oh, hang on. Oh. Easy. Ah, here we go. I can open this door up now. There, now that's open. Okay. And there's, there's a button. What's this? I found something. Yeah. That's I think what the key. Yeah, that's what the key is for. You were given. Yep. Okay, uh, drop a save, because I get the feeling we're about to enter. Well, we're enter entering a very volatile area to begin with. Yeah. Also, hmm. <laughs> Why? Uh, there's some fire again. Let's see if I can get that. Nope, it's not my reason. Almost sounded like there was like a a monster or something that shrieked. Uh, that, that 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 was that was just me uh, activating uh, the wings. Okay. Got an unidentified ring for you to look at. Another one. Yeah, find quite a few of them. Pyrokinetic and summoning. Oh, that's a midnight ring. Yeah. Very much. What? A new ring for you. Going down. A guard rushes in front of you and uh, rolls your feet. Why the point of a sharp pick, spear touches the underside of your jaw. It will halt. State your name. Go oh, for goodness sake, woman. Lower your spear. That is no way to greet a guest. Oh, it's, oh yeah, there's the there's Queen Justinia. Yep. Oh, they're all level twenty. Okay, I guess we're not meant to be Isby. here yet. I've not known you to be so welcoming to strangers. Have I yet to disappoint your highness in matters of security? Your majesty? Do as she says. Lower your spear. 
Yes. Of course, my queen. Okay, so we're gonna we're allowed to chat. Gently. One we are most certainly equipped to handle. Your, your Highness, Bloom of Duna, Flame of the Forge, I present to you oh. the eternal mystery, the I seed of again. divinity, Fane. Wait, what? I was literally clicked on myself as the Red Prince, so this is definitely Fane's quest. Queen Justinia sucks in her cheeks, then offers you her unwavering hand. Oh, my. <laughs> Take her hand vigorously. It's a pleasure. <laughs> oh, that sounds that, that that just sounds hilarious. The queen retracts her hand and rewards your reverence with a curt nod. An audience is granted. I am yet too intrigued to give my leave. Now tell me, Isbeal, why do you allow this sulking figure before me? My queen. The specimen before you is a godwoken, a claimant to the divine throne. The queen wrinkles her face and gives Isbael a sideways glance. Isbael's red-brown eyes meet her gaze head on. Many have laid claim to Lucian's legacy, including his own inferior spawn. I presume our visitor has more than a vague title to boast of. <laughs> we probably want to avoid anything that could lead to a fight yeah at least for now we'll do low heart afterwards because low heart you know is a sore subject i do wonder why ESPL knows so much about us i am curious about that too I am consort to Her Royal Highness Justinia. It is my business to know who serves the Queen's allies and abets her enemies. You do not roam this land unnoticed, and your true form is hardly hidden to all. Now, let us continue. Isbel clears her throat and continues her litany. Oh, God. Boring speech time. Oh, he has boy. escaped the island prison to which the Order confined him, a feat deserving a modicum of respect. A refugee from the joy, then. Impressive. Few avoid the Magister's... Yes, the Mad Sorcerer tainted both his time and ours. His stench is not easily rinsed away. But it seems to me that Void Woken and Shriekers were a more present danger. Yes? I'm doing this because I want, actually want to do number four. The queen <laughs> opens her mouth as if to speak, but her companion shushes her and raises an index finger. Such a gallant girl. <laughs> but her royal majesty needs no rescuing, I assure you. Now then, we adhere to a certain decorum in this court. I am certain you understand. Now, let us continue. Okay. It okay, just... so there really is something that she's hiding. Isbel clears her throat. The God Woken arrogated the Lady Vengeance, the very vessel that terrorized the High Look, Seas under the oh, Hammer's what? command. The Queen's eyes grow wide, and she nods appreciatively, then looks to Isbel to continue the ovations. It is good and right that you mourn the dead, God Woken. But do not let your sorrow linger. Many a good warrior has buried his courage along with the dead. Look ahead, not. The Godwoken has slain his very own. Alexander, son of the Lake Divine, has fallen to his superior might. No, he technically did not. <laughs> Indeed. Slayed by your hand, then. The cub once pleaded with me to aid in his sorcerer pogrom, Fane. I cannot deplore your actions, as loath as I am to admit it. You enjoy hearing of your own exploits. <laughs> the great sorcerer Riker, a lone wolf known for his manipulation of the innocent dead, died by our visitor's hand, your majesty. I do not know of this Riker. I trust his death was well deserved. 
Basic is... decency is none too common in modern Rivalon, though I needn't tell you this. Still, a shame that such a capable man to would pursue matters so <laughs> see, what is vile. the game here? Yeah, I'm really curious of what the game is. Why is there literally being... I mean, this is literally a story recap. My queen, the god Woken hobbled the Black Ring by slicing off one of its limbs, a necromancer known as the Sallow Man. Okay, we're getting closer to current times. His bale's hot stare burns into your soul. You meet her gaze with one of your own, though you know you could never match her intensity. Splendid. The Black Ring has proven a chaotic element at a time when control is imperative. I'm overawed, truly. I've no more of your accomplishments to announce. If I didn't know better, I'd think you almost vain. Well, I see no reason to mince words, Godwoken. You're here to die. Is Beale whatever's gotten into you? Melodorous it may be, but this is still a court, not a gallows. Your Majesty, the God Woken is no ally, but enemy. He would throw your plans in disarray. You have worked so hard. Arks must fall to the death fog. Uh, now it comes to persuasion, which, you know, he's faint is not trained in, unfortunately. Well, what seems we now know better, we could always use, uh, use things to flip it back and forth. Uh... We are at war. I don't relish knowing there will be civilian casualties, but they are necessary. The Your Majesty, this course is wise. The Queen needn't explain it to one who would see it all undone. Isbel intrudes before the Queen. Your Majesty's brilliance has... Justinia turns to Isbel. <laughs> oh, but you're a clever one, aren't you, Fane? Fine. I'm tired of pretending I serve this weak wench anyway. But it doesn't matter. You can't stop the death fog. The wheels are in motion. Isbel? Shut your royal maw, Justinia. Arcs will fall and your memory writ. They will believe it was your will, your plan, your command. I definitely want to go back and do the persuasions now. Yeah. Guards, arrest Isbeel. She is no child of Duna. The guards unsheath their blades and point them not at Isbeel, but at the queen. I'm afraid I have other intentions. Okay. You blink yourself awake to the cold gaze of a thousand stones and the hot gaze of the dwarf Isbail, right hand of the queen. Oh, good. You're awake. Oh, they're all undead. Yep. Yeah, at first I figured I'd just kill you. But then I thought, Isbail, <laughs> you're wasting an opportunity here. Don't bother thanking me just yet, though. I dare say you'll be begging to die before long. So I'll start with lesser toxins, just to see how you react and take it from there. How strong a dose can a god woken handle? How long does it take for one to succumb? Uh, so many questions. Your lips open, but no words spill forth. You try to lift your head, but it is no match for gravity. She has paralyzed you. Only your eyes are free to move. Ah, uh ah, -uh, don't fight it. You'll only make things worse. Oh, but I've been so rude. You should know the real me. Oh, it's good to give myself a rest. Those masks can be darned pesky. What's that, boy? What are you trying to tell me? Are you hungry? Do you want to play? Did someone fall down a well? Oh, you're so oh precious God. when you try to talk. Now, make yourself comfortable. The harder you fight, the harder the experiment will be on you. Huh. That 
dose proves quite alarming for my normal subject. Let's try a new approach, shall we? Let's see now. Uh, I have just... You struggle to move, and you feel your toes wiggle, and your fingers twitch. Hmm, interesting. Some of the results are quite unexpected. Now, oh, let's move on to death fog. Live or... Isbel turns the valve, but no fog wafts forth. In that moment, you feel your bones and muscles awaken. You've regained control of your body at last. What? What's wrong with it? God! Come! The guard work is broken free of my spell! Okay, and these are now level 19-ish. But I don't know if we can necessarily... Yeah. ...fight this. They're one level above us. Okay, yeah, my priority. I think, I think we should probably just not attempt this because we're probably going to end up dying right away. And because really the only way that we can get out of this area looks to be to jump up and out of here. Yeah, th there is no obvious way to climb out. No, if you don't have a mobility tool, you're kind of screwed. I don't see a ladder or anything. Nope, I don't either. So yeah, like I'm so most of us will be fine. Midnight might be a, no midnight's gonna have to use his incarnate essentially. Yeah, he's gonna have to use his incarnate. Try something. Uh, maybe we can win. Yeah, we can try. Not many options for getting out of here. to go then. Okay, and now here. Let's take, okay, so Isabel is level 20 and gives vampire to everything. So I, I don't know if we necessarily do this. It's going to be a very rough fight for sure. I think we could win. I definitely first. Uh, let's see. No, there's no high ground points in here that I can access. Only low nope. ground. All just even ground. I could have charm him. Yeah, if you can strip. <coughs> yeah, but that's. Uh... But it's a hot one. All these have a pretty decent amount. Except for some of the melee. Yeah, one. And then these two over here are the lowest. This one and her are the highest. Oh, and of course there's a death fog barrel over here. Okay, resistances are pretty standard. 200 to poison, everything else is not, not noticeable. 10 in warfare, 4 in pyro. So I could use anything I want on him, really. Fireball. Yeah, that's gonna explode the entire pit. Okay, yeah, no, I don't think we can do it. Yeah, this. no. <laughs> mm. Yep, we're not going down there. Not yet. So we gotta find. So yeah. we have to we have to find other stuff to do up top, basically. Yep. But I think it's soon time to wrap it up. Yeah. So let's just keep exploring if we uh, and let's try not to get into a fight before we uh, leave. Hey there, yeah. Jaws. So let's just uh, use the wipe zone to get back up top. 